the astonishingly advanced technologies of the United States Navy continue to awe us. Some of them are so powerful that other nations are currently on edge. However, the U.S. Navy has not stopped developing more. A U.S. Navy official recently stated that they have developed a technology that alters space-time and created a portal with it. Why is the general public unaware of the Navy's creation of this technology? Come along with us as we learn how a U.S. Navy official revealed that they had created space-time modification technology and opened a portal. The United States Navy rarely experiments with a lot of technology, but when they do, the results are always truly amazing. The defense laser for drones is one such illustration of U.S. Navy technology. This has been going on for a long time, to the point where the Maritime Service Branch of the United States Armed Forces has gained access to a few technologies developed by a lone inventor specifically for the United States Navy. The high-frequency gravitational wave generator is one of them. The widely circulated information regarding a collection of bizarre technological inventions was what brought this information about the secret project of the U.S. Navy. Even though Dr. Salvatore Caesar Piss's creations appeared supernatural, they were real. They incorporate minimal combination reactors, high-energy electromagnetic field generators, high-temperature superconductors, and gravitational wave generators. A gas-filled shell with a surface, sound generators, microwave emitters, and acoustic vibration resonant gas-filled cavities make up the high-frequency gravitational wave generator. The microwave emitter creates the initial electromagnetic field by electrically charging and vibrating this outer shell surface. Each of the acoustic vibration resonant gas-filled cavities has a surface that can be charged electrically and vibrated with the help of the sound generator's acoustic energy, resulting in the creation of a second electromagnetic field. In order to maintain stability, the two acoustic vibration resonant gas-filled cavities can oppose spin relative to one another, and when the first electromagnetic field passes through the second electromagnetic field, gravitational field fluctuations propagate. The design for an aerospace underwater craft with incredible speed and maneuverability was approved in 2018 and is one of these inventions. This mesmerizing vehicle in the shape of a cone can fly in any environment, whether water, air, or space. It is capable of excellent performance without producing heat signatures. By surrounding itself with a very dense polarized energy field and creating a quantum vacuum, the aerospace underwater craft can accomplish this feat. It would be able to repel any molecule that the ship comes into contact with, regardless of the medium because of this vacuum. A statement was made in a study journal that explained how the craft works, saying that manipulating fluctuations in the local vacuum energy state of the quantum field would help reduce the craft's inertia. According to the paper, the polarized vacuum would result in extreme speeds and a significant reduction in any elemental resistance. The inventor asserts that if vacuum-creating technology could be engineered, we would also be able to fundamentally engineer the fabric of our reality. In the event that it is achieved, it will open the door to significant advancements in our generation's aeronautical propulsion and power, not to mention a number of other outcomes that could alter reality. Among the series of innovations developed by Dr. Salvatoria, that resulted from similar ideas and outlined the technological components required to bring his creations to life. In a 2019 paper titled Room Temperature Superconducting System for Use on a Hybrid Aerospace Under Sea Craft, one of these pieces of technology was explained. A system that can conduct superconductivity at room temperature is proposed by this technology. This would develop into a highly disruptive technology that could completely alter the way science and technology work. An electromagnetic field generator conveys PISS's other invention, could be used to create an impenetrable defensive shield against sea, land, and space-based military and civilian assets. Threats such as cruise missiles that evade ray coronal mass ejections, anti-ship ballistic missiles, military satellites, and even asteroids could be shielded from by the shield. The hybrid aerospace underwater craft, which is said to be capable of clearly bending the laws of physics as we know them to engineer the fabric of our reality at the most fundamental level, is the one of these technologies that blows everyone away. These inventions appear to be the components of a vehicle that has never been seen before and also performs like a UFO when grouped and evaluated. However, Dr. Salvatore Cesar Price, the technology's inventor, is able to provide us with a path to understanding how these inventions came to be. 
American inventor and aerospace engineer Salvatore used to work at the Patuxent River Naval Air Station because of their potential energy generating and military applications. His out-of-this-world inventions have attracted national attention as well as global attention. However, there are also doubts about the invention's viability, which has led to speculation that the technology might just be a scam or false information designed to deceive people. The legitimacy of these technological advancements is questioned by adversaries of the United States. Notwithstanding, their world was affirmed through true reports by the Central Innovation Official for the U.S. Maritime Aeronautics Undertaking. He acknowledged their significance in terms of peer state competition and national security when filing appeals with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. However, many physicists and scientists find these assertions hard to believe. They say that the designs are still weird and not based on science. At the same time, the government has been studying similar technologies related to some of Pisces' work for several years. Therefore, even though these designs appear to be hazy concepts and remain at the frontier of science, they are not exactly novel. Various theories and hypotheses have emerged as a result of this. Some people think that Salvatore Piz designs are just dynamic, with the intention of being ahead of the curve in the event that these technologies ever become practical. Others speculate that it may be a flimsy creation created by an inventive and persuasive inventor and his gullible Navy bosses. Well, Piss is the only one who can tell us. He clarifies and answers questions in his explanation of his work on a plasma compression fusion device in the Plasma Science Journal. This small fusion reactor is thought to be powerful enough to generate a net energy gain, a breakthrough that, if realized, will revolutionize energy production. The paper asserts, as with all of Dr. Price's designs and publications, that this revolutionary new fusion reactor employs controlled motion of electrically charged matter via accelerated spin or vibration. In order to generate extremely high-intensity electromagnetic fields, it is subjected to smooth but rapid acceleration, deacceleration, and acceleration transients. These electromagnetic fields are said to heat the plasma in the core of this reactor while it finds and compresses it. This would allow for energy production levels that are currently impossible to achieve. Dr. Salvatore Cesar Piss does not appear to ramble on about his area of expertise in an inaccurate manner. The author section of the paper provides a description of Dr. Price, indicating that he possesses advanced analytical skills. Aerodynamics theory using current computational and experimental techniques. Additionally, he is well versed in the design of air vehicles and missiles, particularly hypersonic power plants and vehicles. In addition, he has extensive expertise in condensed metaphysics, such as the emerging breakthrough field of room temperature superconductivity in relation to advanced field propulsion, as well as in electro optics and emerging quantum technology, particularly in the generation of high-energy electromagnetic fields and laser power. The Pice effect was the central theme of Dr. Salvatore Caesar Pice's theories. In his distributed papers and diaries, he alluded to the Pice impact as him sorting out the ideal and best way to turn electromagnetic fields fully intent on containing a combination response. This would result in a significant reduction in power consumption and an abundance of energy. People have doubts about Dr. Price because he incorporates this into his technological creations. However, the United States Navy took Dr. Pisces's ideas seriously enough to conduct three years of experiments, despite their total rejection by experts, scientists, and physicists. Some of them were even deemed operable after the experiments. This is shown in the inventor's documents, because two Navy officials seem to say that the inventions are usable, but they don't say how much. Timothy Boulay of the Aircraft Division of the Naval Air Warfare Center provided additional confirmations. Timothy reduced the description to the following. The high-energy electromagnetic field generator for the Pisces was tested for $508,000 from 2016 to 2019. There were 10 engineers and technicians in the project team, which worked for about 1,600 hours. According to Boulay, these 1,600 hours were ultimately a waste of time because the Pice effect could not be demonstrated upon test completion. Nobody knew what happened to the tested device after the testing. Even though documents obtained through the Freedom of Information Act suggested that the inventions might have been moved to another Navy or Air Force research department. 
However, one thing is certain, at least for the time being. The fact that these inventions have attracted such attention does not guarantee that they will be produced, much less put into use. This is because the research lacks substantial evidence. A lot of people who don't believe in the technology think that the amount of energy needed for the fields that Piz and his ideas about electromagnetic propulsions describe are too much and beyond the capabilities of the technology that is currently available. As a result, it is currently nearly impossible for Pisces to put their ideas into action. Regardless, some background information has been obtained from Navy officials regarding the project, indicating that the inventions are being carefully examined and tested. Even so, this does not imply that everyone is now in favor of the technology. Carl Willis is one such individual. At the University of New Mexico, Carl Willis is a nuclear engineer and reactor supervisor. Additionally, Veris Research, a company developing a cutting-edge dense plasma-focused fusion neutron source for the Army, employs him as a senior research engineer. This is an innovation Willis says Veris Exploration doesn't see as a serious way to deal with a combination power plant. Willis says that the majority of Dr. Pisces's work is a classic example of pathological science. Willis says that the literature on plasma compression and fusion devices has a lot of invented jargon, little or no evidence of a solid theoretical foundation, absurd statements, a lot of passing statements that seem to contradict basic and accepted physics, and a lot of nebulous objectives and adverbs rather than a lot of technical writing that makes sense. Willis proposed further that Dr. Cost references subjects that have continually been tormented with neurotic science and well-known misconception for quite a long time, like vacuum energy. It's hard not to think he's either going all in himself or simply chumming the waters for the sort of individuals who do. Nevertheless, Willis makes it abundantly clear that this case is somewhat unusual due to the author's PhD, the government's assignment of his designs, and the publication of the paper in an IEE journal with a significant readership. However, these facts do not change his opinion that everything is essentially nonsense. He concluded that it simply raises additional concerns regarding the qui bono of this particular case. Dr. Charles Collette, an assistant professor of physics at Muhlenberg College, who specializes in experimental low-temperature research into the quantum state of molecular magnets, was the other expert questioned regarding this circumstance. Collette, like other experts and physicists who have expressed their opinions regarding the price inventions, remained skeptical. Dr. Collette acknowledged that the so-called price effects theoretical foundation is not absurd. Indeed, this will be produced by any charged object undergoing significant acceleration. Collette also mentioned that creating a device that can generate such high electromagnetic forces may present significant engineering difficulties. Collette said at the end of his talk about the Pies effect that the claims of macroscopic quantum coherence seem questionable and that he doesn't see how that interaction could cause any of the effects claimed. In a nutshell, Collette's impression is that the remaining claims are extraordinary. And extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, despite the possibility of an intriguing engineering feat in the inventions. We're at a crossroads right now. The technology and designs of Dr. Salvatore Caesar Pisces are without a doubt classic and would represent a significant technological advance. However, other experts, scientists, and physicists are opposed to it, asserting that it will never work. How do you feel about this technology? Please share your thoughts with us in the following comment section.